Alrighty man. Pretty catchy. Uh oh. The clip fell off of this one. Oh no. Hi, my name is Austin Vice. I'm 14 years old and this is my story. I was born February 25th, 2003 in Holland Hospital around like 1.50, maybe maybe so midnight, uh, maybe 1, 12.30, you know? And I grew up in a town 30 minutes away from Holland, Zealand uh, called South Haven. And I lived there for about 12 years. And during those 12 years, were they, those were a very uh, nice 12 years. I made a lot of friends there, um, you know, considering it, that it was my hometown. So my, my, my South Haven friends, um, you know, um, my friend Jackson, he he was um, a very close friend of mine. Like, I knew him before I could actually, I can even remember things. Like, we were like friends since babies, you know? And, um, you know, I got my friends, my friend Chris, Aaron, Andrew, and Dominic, and Jessica, you know? Like, you know, all of them helped me get through school um, in one way or another just for by being there and, you know, helping me cheer up, um, you know? or just whatever. And I still do keep in touch with most of those friends. Uh, I still, I consider those ones um, almost family to me. I'm the relative of brothers and uh, uh, sisters, you know. They're, they're that close to me. You know, and, and with a friendship that lasts, you know, 12 years and onwards, you know, I, why wouldn't I? Um, yeah, so I, I went there for, I, I lived there for 12 years, most of my life. Uh, moved three times uh, to, well, as far as I can remember, uh, as uh, an infant, I remember I used to live in a blue house. Uh, the blue house, which uh, I lived in t uh, probably till uh, 2008, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna say, uh, probably from my birth to 2008, so five years, not bad. Then we moved out into the country next to my family. Not too far country, but like sort of country. Um, I lived, so it was my house, and then there was like a little patch of uh, trees, and then my aunt's house, and then the biggest was my grandma's. And then my grandma moved, uh, and then we moved uh, to a rental house, uh, which we just called the rental house, you know. And if you couldn't tell, and I lived there. Oh, I, I lived in the country house for. Uh, I'm gonna say, 2008 to 2015, 2014 maybe, and so you know a very decent uh, living period in that house, and we moved into that rental house for about a, almost a year. Uh, I remember spending a New Year's in there. I think that was 2015, no, 2014 New Year's, going on to 2015. And um, yeah, during that time I was in, during the time I lived in the rental house, I was in sixth grade and I went to Baseline uh, Middle School. And uh, I lived in the rental house. And during that time between 2014 and 2015, um, we had moved again to, a different house but this time it wasn't in the South Haven area it was 30 minutes away from South Haven and that's here uh, Holland you know Zealand and we, 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 we continued me and my siblings and my mom continued to go back there every morning uh, to you know go to school and go to work and that worked for um, Actually, it worked a lot. We just had to wake up a little bit earlier, which was okay. You know, left on time, got there on time, and everything. And then came summer break, and my mom got a different job over summer break, and that's when we made the move from baseline, or when I made the move to baseline to Cityside, which is the middle school I attended. And that 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 move, it was. Like, like the move, like I, I didn't think uh, that that would happen because we told our parents strictly we're not going to, you know, Holland or Zealand schools or whatever, you know, we're not. Um, but the move, it, 
it was very hard because like I have I have so many friends, you know. I not not to rub it in, um, be like I have more friends, but like I just have a lot of friends, and it was hard to tell them I'm not gonna be with you guys for school, you know, anymore. I'm I won't be there, you know, to probably, you know, graduate. Um, you know, it was just hard to tell them that, and just hard for me, you know. Uh, so yeah, um, I then then we went to um, yeah. Okay, let me. All right. <clears throat> and the the transition from baseline to city side was a little. Um, I'm, I'm gonna say hard on me, cause. I was going into a school that was, you know, just brand new to me, of course. Um, I knew no one there except for one person, which is my friend Jacob. Uh, I, I met him over the summer. Actually, I met him a little bit uh, before summer began when I was still in baseline at uh, in sixth grade. So I had one friend, but he was actually a grade above me. He, so when I was in seventh grade, he was in eighth grade. And... Um, yeah, so I, I, I wasn't able to see him much except for a glimpse of him in the hallway or, um, or you know, just whatever. And, or, you know, after school or when um, we would get dropped off. So it, it was a little hard, you know, to like make friends because I'm not entirely the most outgoing person. Like when I'm around people I'm comfortable with, I will happily, um, like you know make jokes be sarcastic and everything but when I'm trying to meet someone new it's like it's, it, it's kind of hard for me so, so my first I'm gonna say maybe three weeks of city sign was me going around from person to person trying to make a friend you know be like hey can I you know blah 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 can I you know possibly sit with you at lunch because I don't want to sit by myself because I do not want to be lonely <laughs> And um, yeah, I, I eventually did make some friends, um, which is good. Um, but I, re I remember I, I did not like going to city side for my first few weeks. I hated it. I absolutely hated it. I would walk into school every day with a frown on my face. I would just, no, I hated this school. I remember one week, it was uh, Chicks Pride Week or something like that. It was like, wear your Chicks gear, you know, and everything. And I, I remember I turned to my friend Jacob and I told him, I'm going to wear my Rams t-shirt that I got when I was at Southampton. And he said, don't, because you will probably be bullied. And I was like, ah, fine. And I didn't, but I, I didn't, I did not like it there for a long time. Uh, that, that was until I met, um, you know, I, after I met a few friends. Um, that I still have to this day, th thankfully. Um, but it, it wasn't until I, I met this one person. Um, I, I was in orchestra uh, back in fifth grade, because back in my old schools, we started it a year before they do here in Zealand. And I was in high school, or I wasn't in high school, I was, I was in orchestra. And I, I, I did enjoy an orchestra, I, I enjoyed orchestra, it was uh, fun for me. And so in my orchestra class at, at Cityside, it was, I had to make new friends in there too, you know, cause there would be, I, I was guessing there would be partner, um, partnering up and, um, there was, there was this one person, this one girl who, um, really, really made it a lot better for me here, um, made, made this place not seems so bad to live um and 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 that girl was kelsey um and she turned from a friend to my girlfriend and you know i she she made it a lot nicer for me to live here and she just she made she makes me smile she it makes me laugh when i'm not in the mood or i'm just in a you know, terrible situation. She, she, she make she made it a lot easier for me to live here. She made it not seem so bad. And I know I just said that, but it's it's true. You know, and 
I've, I've, I've told her that and I've thanked her for that very much. And I, I just, yeah. I, I just don't know what I would do without her, you know? Like I'd probably, st I probably wouldn't have most of the friends I have today. Um, she, she's very important to my life, you know? She, when, she was a very, you know, she was my first kiss. She, she was my first date, like an actual date. Like I go out, I pay, we walk, you know. Um, that was in eighth grade. Oh, that wasn't all that long ago. But yeah, she, she was very important to me. Um, and she still is, you know. And I love her for that, you know. She makes me happy. She it's very important to me, you know. And so she, she, you know, we became, you know, boyfriend and girlfriend and everything. And uh, that's still going strong to this day, um, which I'm very happy about. And, you know, and after that, after meeting her and everything, it just, Cityside became a very, I still don't like it. I, I didn't like the school. I mean, I don't like school in general, but I just didn't like Cityside the most. Uh, um, but it just, she, she made it seem a lot nicer to live there or be there and go to school. Um, yeah. So then after that um, came my eighth grade year and that was probably my, uh, you know, best year. Um, that was probably like my favorite year here um, so far, I gotta say. Um, I mean, I lost, I, I had a friend pass away there. Um, which was not expected at all, but um, you know, I, you know, stuff like that happens. But overall, my my eighth grade year was pretty one of my greatest years uh, in my opinion here so far. You know, after I wrapped up eighth grade, and then I, you know, came here for high school, and that is where the, the story ends so far, for now. You know, so yeah.